Okay, guys, we have been having some issues with our shade cloth. As you can tell, I know some of you have said it was kind of drooping. Well, we have the answer. We were watching Kevin on Weedem and Reap, his little crafty corner, and he gave us this brilliant idea. Yeah. And so now Gene is going to make it work for us. Yeah. <laughs> what could go. it be? A plunger. Okay, so <laughs> this is too funny. Yes. Yeah. So, oh my goodness, when we saw him put that on makes, the end of... Makes all the sense. Yeah, because we kept thinking, how are we going to get this to stay up without poking a hole in there? We have been racking our brains. We literally have been going, what can we do? And so he came up with this plunger idea. So we're going to see if it works. Yeah. It may take some tweaking. I'm going to back up here so you can see it a little bit better. It's going to take some tweaking because our shade cloth is a little different than theirs. And we have to get it on this here T-post so that it stays put. Because otherwise, we can't exactly put the um, PVC pipe in the ground. So we needed the, uh, the T-post to help with that. So here we go. Okay. One thing we've learned to do since moving from California is rigging things up. <laughs> we have become great riggers. So once we saw this, we thought, man, this is right up our alley. We can do some rigging. We can do this. So look at that. The plunger in a PVC pipe, the broom, to get the shade cloth over the plunger. And look at that, guys. I think this might work. Professional riggers. <laughs> yep, that's what we are. It's kind of what you learn to be when you're a homesteader. You kind of have to rig things up just to make it work. Okay, so this is kind of working. We're gonna kind of straighten it out a little bit, but I think it might work. Kevin was brilliant because now we won't put a hole right. in our shade cloth. Yep. Okay, check it out. Brilliantness. Mm -hmm. He's clipping the shade cloth to the canopy. So look at that. We will have lots of shade here because guys, it has been so dreadfully hot. This is the only day that we have gotten rain in a month. So it's cooled off, but now oh, nice. that the rain has stopped, the humidity is kicking in. <laughs> it's at 98%. Oh my goodness. But anyway, look at that. Thanks to Kevin from Weedham and Reap and Gene with Eclipse, I think <laughs> we are going to be in business. So now when we sit out here, we won't have the canopy on, or I guess the, I should say the shade cloth on our heads. Because we've sat in the pool here with the shade cloth on our head, and we're not complaining. We were in the shade, but it was a bit uh, funky, I guess you could say. Yep, Avonlea's got her tent set up. They had a little bonfire last night, and there is the wonky pool. I think we're finally going to have to take it down. She's going to be not very happy with us, but it just won't fill up anymore, so... Yep, the pool has seen its better days. All right, check it out. Okay, I'm gonna show you here real quick. So if you all wanna take this uh, great plan, look at that, Get a plunger. plunger. Buy a plunger. Buy a plunger <laughs> and it's gonna protect your shade cloth. Okay. Woohoo! look at that. All right, this is great. Great rigging. <laughs> yeah. We are... <laughs> The we best are, riggers we around. Are masters at yep, rigging. That's right. Okay, there it is. I don't know if I showed it to you or not, but the garage is finished. Well, I should say almost finished. Not completely. Let me show you what it looks like inside right now. It's a complete disaster area, but um, we are about there. Okay, what we are going to do is we're going to put a huge tarp, which we bought. Not this one here. He just kind of put that there so we didn't get the wood dirty while well, it rained. Um, but we're going to put a tarp and staple it down on the floor here 
so that will be protected and yeah this is not uh, it's not going to stay this way we have dressers where all this stuff's going to be in but for now we needed a place to put it so yeah we've kind of just been dumping things as you can tell there would never have been room for this in um the trailer so yeah so we are in the process of just getting some of the stuff out of the cottage putting it here this is not where it's going to stay i will show you what it's going to look like when we have it all set up but for now it is done Woohoo! we'll be able to hang our clothes up put our dressers in here and yeah we'll have some storage a little update on the garden we have been oh gosh guys fighting the blister beetles like you would not believe if you can see that one plant right there that was a cucumber plant it's still flowering they were annihilating that i mean literally with one i mean one evening and they destroyed almost all of that and then i want to show you over here our, our pepper plants sorry about that our pepper plants were doing so well and they literally have destroyed every single one of them as you can see all the way down we literally no joke probably picked off 200 blister beetles off of the plants we are hoping that we will be able to save the rest of the garden we're praying like crazy because yeah the tomatoes still look great but you know what they can literally get in here and they can annihilate the entire garden in one night i mean that's what they did to these poor pepper plants they were finally picking up and doing so well and i can see some of them over there eating as we speak we thought we'd gotten them all but we have to get out here on a regular basis because if we do not get them all we will not have a garden left i'm so sad it's like one thing after another but you know what we just have to work hard there are so many grasshoppers as well i think because of the drought i'm sorry that's uh, ronaldo in the background he's telling the girls he's found food for them <laughs> um but yeah it is like a daily thing we have to get out here pick bugs it is hard when you are trying to garden organically because the bugs want your garden it always amazes me i always think you know they've got they've got all of that they've got the trees they've got all of that everything but why do they have to have this why do they have to eat what we are trying to grow for food it just blows my mind but you know what it is what it is we have to work that much harder just to try to stay ahead of the game because um, we do not want to spray anything but it's it's not easy look at those beautiful flowers that are popping up over there yep we will just keep trucking and we will show you you know as we go along but yeah it's not been easy if you can see right through there i don't know if you can see it or not but the right there look at that butternut squash coming up oh yeah that's gonna be a good thing <laughs> mama's favorite anyway that's a little update on the garden i'm gonna go step on some blister beetles right now because i just saw some so i just wanted to give you guys a little update on mama here and how i am doing because i know a lot of you have been wondering um, I'm doing better. Um, we went back up to um, Springfield yesterday for an update and to take the patch off. And um, they said that uh, things looked good. Um, but they did say that I have to come back in two weeks um, because they want to check on the cornea and uh, make sure that it was healing properly because if not and it's not attached the way it should be um yeah i don't even want to think about that there would be a third surgery so please be in prayer that um that would not be necessary because this one was quite traumatic i have to say an hour and a half with my hands being tied down mama didn't do very well um 
they uh, said they did not want to knock me out just because um, for safety, you know, reasons. Um, coming out of, you know, being completely under like that is a little bit more difficult than local. And I understand that. Um, so, you know, I opted to go ahead and do it the way we did the first time. But needless to say, that was not an easy thing. Having someone dig in your eye for an hour and a half is not fun. And not being able to, um, to move, that was really hard. Um, but we made it through, praise God. And, um, you know, I am just in awe of his goodness because at first, you know, they did all the tests and stuff and I couldn't see, I couldn't see anything. Um, and they could not guarantee how much vision I would have. So yesterday, last night I got out of the shower and I had closed my one eye and I was able to see things, guys. It's so exciting. I was able to see a red towel and I could see, um, you know, different just shapes and stuff. I wouldn't say it's completely clear or anything, but there's vision there. Yay! Oh my goodness. That was something they couldn't guarantee. They did not know how much vision that I would have. Um, but so far I can see. Um, I wouldn't say that um, I can really read anything yet, but we're just, you know, hoping and praying that the next two weeks will go real well and that um, the girls in the background, <laughs> um, that it will continue to improve. Uh, it's one of those things I'm supposed to not do anything. I can't lift, I can't stoop. I really can't do much of anything. And yeah, it's hard to keep mama down. I'm not one to sit around. I feel like I have a family that I need to wait on, but they've been so good. They've been waiting on me, but still it's like trying to put your shoes on, trying to get dressed. You know, everything is like a bending motion, sitting down and, um, I have to just be real, real careful because I will see the spots and the floaters and yeah. So, but anyway, I appreciate so much all of you praying for me and wanting to know how I'm doing. Um, I'm doing better and thank you so much for your prayers because I could not have done it without you. When they told me I needed to come in that very next day in the morning and that they thought they would do surgery, that was quite stressful. I just thought, no, <laughs> this can't be happening. Not again and not so soon, but um, God is good. And I met some of the neatest nurses. They were so wonderful and so patient with me. They held my hand. One of them said, I'll hold your hand the whole time if you'd like. I told them, I said, I'm not a good patient because I am so nervous. And it was so funny because they said, you know, everything tested out pretty good, but your blood pressure seems pretty high. I said, you know what, that is just normal for me. And sure enough, they checked it and it went down, but I just run really high. I've got the white coat syndrome, <laughs> you know, where I don't do real well when it comes to uh, stuff like that. Well, especially when it's in your eye, you know, I don't think any surgery would be easy for anybody. Um, but my eye yesterday, I have to tell you, it made me sick. I thought I was gonna throw up because it was the color of fire engine red, my entire eye. And it had been bleeding, you know, the whole nine yards, but today it is much better. Um, it's amazing how quickly the eye heals. Um, even with all that they've done, it's still very bloodshot, um, very swollen, but it never hurt at all. Um, I never felt bad, which I'm so thankful for that because I thought, you know, I don't know. I don't know how I'm going to do, but it was amazing. So, um, it feels scratchy because they had to stitch it. You know, there's some stitches in there. Um, but other than that, it is getting so much better. I have to put so many drops in there and I have to make sure that I know exactly when to do it every couple of hours, um, for this one, so many hours for that one, but we're getting it done guys and we're going to get through this and this too shall pass but I just want to give you an update because I know some of you are wondering but anyway please um, bear with us because this was just a little bump in the road um, we hope to get going again and get started but uh, we just appreciate you all so much and if you have not subscribed think about subscribing and joining our little journey here because we know that a lot of you are following us are not subscribed. And you know what? It really would help the channel. It doesn't cost you anything. Um, 
we don't even need your name. Um, but anyway, uh, give us a thumbs up. Let us know that you're enjoying our videos. I know these ones are kind of strange right now, but um, yeah, we'll get back on, on track again and get going. But um, bring that notification bell and you'll be notified when, when we have another video. But anyway, guys, um, I will let you go and we will talk to you on the next one. God bless you. The cutest thing you ever did see. The biddy sitting on the old wooden fence because it's wet on the ground. So what do you do? You sit on the fence together and you shoot the breeze. Just too cute. And look at that. Ronaldo the rooster is down below making sure that the ladies are all well taken care of. Good job, Ronaldo.